Welcome back to the Solutions Manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 2-63 from R.C. Hibbler Engineering Statics 12th Edition. According to this problem, the force F acts on the bracket within the octant shown. If F is 400 newtons, beta is 60 degrees and gamma is 45 degrees, determine the x, y, z components of force. Basically, these beta and gamma are basically the coordinate direction angles. So, there are three coordinate direction angles. The alpha is unknown. We have to find out. The beta is 60 degrees and gamma is 45 degrees. So, for alpha, we have this property of cos square alpha plus cos square beta plus cos square gamma is equals to 1. So from here cos square alpha is equals to 1 minus cos square beta but the beta is 60 degrees minus cos square gamma but gamma is 45 degrees. So after solving it the cos square alpha would become 1 upon 4. And when I am going to take the square root on the both sides, then I am going to end up with two answers. So cos alpha is equals to plus minus 1 upon 2. So let's solve it further. It means I am going to end up with two alphas. So when cos alpha is 1 upon 2, positive 1 upon 2, then alpha is, if you take the cos inverse, the alpha would be 60 degrees. And when the cos alpha is negative 1 upon 2 and when you take the cos inverse of this negative 1 upon 2 alpha would be 120 degrees now the question arises which alpha should we use should we should we use 60 degrees or the 120 degrees now to find this answer let's move towards the diagram and let's zoom in a little bit. Now think about it. If I draw the projection of this F on the XY plane, the projection would look something like this. This is the projection of F on XY plane. I can draw, I can resolve this projection into two components. Of one along the x-axis All right. and one along the y-axis. So now you can consider that the y component of this force F is positive because it is directed in the positive y axis but the x component of this force F is negative because it is directed in the negative sense of the positive x axis. So we have to consider that value of alpha that will give us the negative x component. So we have to consider this angle because when you find the cos of 120 that will give you a negative 1 upon 2 and that's a negative answer. Whereas if you consider this angle uh, this will give you a positive answer. And we just have found out from the figure that the x component of the force app 
has to be negative. So let us write it here as well. X component of F has to be negative. That's why the alpha is a 120 degrees. So now it's easy. F is equals to F cos alpha i plus F cos beta j plus F cos gamma k. Uh, we know that F is equals to 400 newtons. We have been given the magnitude. So from here, F becomes 400 cos 120 degrees plus 400 cos beta is 60 degrees plus 400 cos 45 degrees. And this is the I, that's the J, and this is the K component. So from here, F is equals to negative 200i plus 200j plus 282.84k. So this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. If you have any questions or any doubts about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you.